<laughs> are you guys ready for some more show? <laughs> Most of you are, a few of you are concerned. Okay. Uh, the next comedian coming to the stage is a very funny guy that some of you are, have uh, come out to see. So uh, let's give a nice welcome for Mr. David O'Donnell, everybody. David O'Donnell. Come on down, David. Hi, my name's Dave, and I'm an alcoholic. Oh, wait, uh, sorry, that was last night's meeting. Uh, I'm from upstate New York uh, in a small, small town in Columbia County called Valencia. Uh, if you ever have a chance to drive near it, just keep going. There's really no point in stopping there. Especially stay away from Main Street. Seriously, you, need, you, you can pull through 32 people off Main Street and finally get a full set of teeth. It's really rough around there, but... Uh, you can always tell when summer is officially over, when the uh, Columbia County Fair rolls into town. It's probably one of the dirtiest fairs ever. Uh, it's sad when the carnies have more teeth than half the people that go, because apparently if you have more than six teeth, you're considered high class at that fair. Uh, but I really hate the carnies. You know, they always try to sucker you into playing their games. Uh, you know, spend $40 to win a stuffed animal that costs two. They're always suckering you in. I was walking by, they're like, hey, how about you come over here and win a prize for your lovely lady? It's like, dude, that's my 12-year-old sister. Do I really look like a pedophile? Like, like am I walking by like, hee hee? <laughs> no, but I really hate winter, which is about to come around the corner. And uh, mostly, I hate going to the movies in the winter. Not because there's nothing playing, but because I always forget to take my coat off until I'm already sitting down. And by that time, I'm too lazy to stand up. So I do one of these numbers, trying to get it off for about five minutes while my girlfriend just sits there and laughs. Yeah, it's really upsetting when there's an old couple behind me. Oh, it's so nice that she brings him out in public. Like, I, you know, kind of like I need to wear a helmet while I'm there. No, nah, but I had to go to the doctor the other day, and he wanted to check for a hernia, which I don't know why. They, like, they really insist on it. It's kind of weird. But he's like, you know, I've, I've done this before. I've done this many times. Trust me, I'm a doctor. Okay, well, I've killed lots of terrorists on the Xbox playing Call of Duty, but that doesn't make me a Marine. <laughs> so after he was done violating me, you know, he puts this machine up to my face and says, okay, which is better, one or two? And that whole experience was kind of weird, so I don't think I'm going to go back to that optometrist again. Uh, but growing up, I had a really overprotective mother. It was pretty bad. I wasn't allowed to cross the street by myself till I was 17. And uh, here's a little fun fact for you. I got my license when I was 16. So apparently I could drive across the street, but walking was too dangerous. You know, I might get hit by a car. Uh, but it, was, it sucked growing up, because wherever I had to go, you know, I rode my bike. I uh, had to make sure it was on the same side of the street that I was going, which was fine until I got to the park and noticed that I couldn't play baseball with my friends. So I had basically had to wave at them from across the street. Uh, but it wasn't all bad. I did get to play very deep right field. Uh, but playing Little League, that's where I met my friend Rob, uh, or as we all call Peaches. Uh, when he was at work one day, he slipped on a peach, hurt his knee, and was out of work for about a year. Uh, it was really tough playing football with him in the park. Um, it was really hard to tackle him. He was a pretty big guy, but now all we got to do is throw peaches on the field, and he's done. There's, he's not getting up. And he's a horrible speller. Rob is just ridiculous. An eight-year-old could spell better than him, really. Uh, we actually used to pay him in high school for his failed spelling test. And I'll give you a little example. Uh, the word onion apparently has a silent X in it, which I I was, I've been spelling it wrong all these years. I just never knew. And uh, we used to play this game out by the pool, and his spelling did not come in handy. Uh, it's a game where everyone lines up on the edge of the pool, and someone comes up with a category and a letter. And the last one to come up with something gets pushed in. And you keep going till there's one person left. Well, he decides to go with animals that start with the letter Q. So my friend Chuck said quail, like, right away, which basically screwed the rest of us. Because I see some people trying to, like, think of some more. Yeah, you can stop, because there's not. And I called him on it. I turned around, and I was like, Rob, you're a freaking idiot. And I'm like, there aren't any more. And he got really offended, and as he walked up to push me in, he yells out, koala, bitch. <laughs> yeah, apparently, apparently for him, koala is Q-U-A-L-A. -A. Don't know where the hell he learned to spell. But that's a game he shouldn't have played. Uh, have you ever played a game you shouldn't? Yeah. I had to take two balls to the ass before I realized it wasn't a game I should be playing. <laughs> but by that time, I was in too deep and couldn't pull out. It was paintball, you perverts. Come on, paintball. Oh, seriously. I, I went to my friend Chuck's house to play. Uh, he wanted to play the game of life, which I really hate that game. Uh, but he hates odd numbers. And it was uh, myself, my girlfriend, and my friend Chuck. 
Uh, so since he doesn't like odd numbers, he grabbed this little African wooden statue that he calls Victor to be the fourth player. I thought that was kind of weird, but he decided that he was gonna he was gonna roll the dice for him. My girlfriend was in charge of the money, and I was in charge of his cards. So Victor happened to land on trade salary cards, and it just so happened that he wanted to my thirty thousand for his hundred. <laughs> yeah, I still fucking lost. How bad is my life going when I can't even win a board game to an inanimate object? But seriously, I hate the game of life. It's totally unrealistic. You land on the space, tree falls on your house, pay 25,000. The game of life, you're like, oh, okay. I'm sitting on two million, I can pay that. Reality, tree falls on your house, pay 25,000. Fuck, I don't have that. Well, looks like I, want, I guess I always wanted a sunroom. I mean, it sucks that it's in the bathroom, but you know, I don't have to pay for it. No, but I want to play the real game of life, uh, where you, know, you spin, you land, you go, two, three, four. You know, you're a rock star, making some good money, land on a space. Courtney Love gives you an STD, lose a turn. Damn it. <laughs> that right there is a real game of life. Uh, but I have a girlfriend, uh, like I said, uh, she's Puerto Rican or, <laughs> or, or more Mexican, you know, same thing. I mean, they both come from New York, right? And uh, it's great, though. Uh, sex with a Puerto Rican is great. Uh, after sex, instead of a cigarette, I get a burrito. Very good. I'm trying to talk her into a three-way with an Irish woman, so then I can get a, a beer afterwards as well. <laughs> but we'll see how that works out. Uh, I know a lot of guys are wondering, like, oh, you know, does your girlfriend, you know, does she fake in bed or whatever? You know, like, have you ever faked? Yes? <laughs> Spoken like a true slut. I like that. <laughs> All right, thank you, guys. My name is Dave. You guys have been great. <laughs> Dave O'Donnell, everybody. Give another hand. <laughs>